the ground looks to us like it's standing still. Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Uh, no. No? What did you, you see while we were up there? Uh, this is the blue sky, white clouds. Yeah, is it flat or? Pretty flat. Pretty flat? Yeah. All right, thank you. I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 true. True. That's true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. All right. God bless, brother. Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Curvature? No. No? There's no, no curvature? It's just all Convinced, and the more I want to talk about it, there is no curve to be found or measured. And there's hints sprinkled all over the place, like this popular study, for instance. A study conducted by Department of Geography, Texas State University and Department of Geography, Arizona State University concludes that the state of Kansas is flatter than a pancake. On a scale where 1.0 means perfect flatness, the calculated flatness of the pancake is approximately 0.957. That's pretty flat, but Kansas is 0.9997 flat over its length of 400 miles, a distance that should render 20 miles of curvature from one side to the other on a sphere that's 25,000 miles in circumference. And I've seen plenty of stuff at between 100,000 and 130,000 feet that's Flat as, a pancake. No matter where you are above the surface of the Earth, the horizon always rises to your eye level. Doesn't matter if you're standing on a beach, or up a hill, or in a plane at 35,000 feet, the horizon is always at eye level. We know intuitively if we stand on a beach with a panoramic view that the sea is flat. It's flat at sea level, it's flat from the top of Mount Everest, it's flat from over 20 miles high. In my efforts to try to prove the globe, it's, it's falling apart uh, with horizon tests uh, and seeing things that we shouldn't be able to see. If the ball is real, the math shows that you know, with the curvature, there are things we should not be able to see and yet people are seeing it. So that has me really questioning the, the, the globe, and I don't question the math, because that math came from globalists. It came from people who believe the globe. <laughs> so it's not it's not math come up conjured up by flat earthers. I used to be a lifeguard on Matura Beach, and on a good day, on a clear day, we could look out and see the Anacapa Arch. Well, the Anacapa Arch is almost 20 miles away, and it's only 40 feet high. So the math says, that if we're on a ball, 25,000 mile circumference ball, that the top of that 40 foot island arch should be over 200 feet below our ability to see it on the other side of the curve. I found this photo from Grand Mere State Park. This is from Joshua Nowicki. And what you're seeing here is a mirage. We typically would not be able to see this from the Lake Michigan shore. We talked about this last night. Conditions are right on the lake that we're actually seeing a mirage of the Chicago skyline. Very interesting here. Here's what's happening. This is a, a good example of a superior mirage. So Joshua was on the Lake Michigan shore. He was looking towards the west and Chicago's beyond the horizon, should not be able to see it. However, with the right conditions, we have an inversion. We have cold air near the cold lake water and some relatively warmer air above it. This will bend the image of that uh, skyline back towards the viewer and so typically we would not be able to see this this image would be viewable from much much higher in the sky up in space but instead we're able to see it on the lake michigan shore shut up conspiracy theorist the horizon is not the curvature of the ball earth the horizon is just the vanishing line of perspective from your point of view you can use a telescope or binoculars and zoom in on the horizon and something that's been completely disappeared beyond the horizon, like a ship, can come all the way back into view, proving that that is not the curvature of the Earth you're looking at, as they tell you, but it's just the vanishing line of perspective from your point of view. And they used to, and they still use that as a proof of the ball Earth. They say that ships going away, as you see their hulls disappear before the masthead, because they're going over the curvature of the Earth. 
yet we've got technology now to prove that that's wrong, but they'll still keep saying it. I put it in my videos. I'll put it right here. I'll put it in this video of me talking about this right now. You may be watching this on YouTube. You're watching a horizon shot, seeing a boat that was out of view. Now it's completely into view, so you can see that that is not the curvature of the ball earth, but there will still be 50 people in the comments section saying that that's the curvature of the ball earth. The idea that people are standing, ships are sailing, and planes are flying upside down on certain parts of Earth, while others tilted at 90 degrees and all other impossible angles, is complete absurdity. The idea that a man digging a hole straight down could eventually reach sky on the other side is ludicrous. Common sense tells every free-thinking person correctly that there truly is an up and down in nature, unlike the everything is relative rhetoric of the Newtonian-Einsteinian paradigm. There's no curvature. It's wonderful. This is like, it, this is the most amazing thing ever. There's no curve. It's flat. Can you imagine? It's exactly what we see. I cannot express this enough, but NASA is just not giving us the truth about what they know. This is crucial to understand. Forget about the Flat Earth for a minute if you have to. Focus on NASA and research them for a few days or for a few weeks. If you can't tell that you're being deceived, then I'm afraid that there is no use for you in this cause anyway. Check out this NASA document describing a flat motionless Earth. So I came across this paper. It's an official NASA document published in August 1988 called the Derivation and Definition of a Linear Aircraft Model. And it's jam-packed full of mathematic equations, formulas, and all sorts of other stuff that describe a linear aircraft model. What I found interesting was on page 35, it says this, concluding remarks. This report derives and defines a set of linearized system matrices for a rigid aircraft of constant mass flying in a stationary atmosphere over a flat, non-rotating Earth. I'll put a link to this in the description. The other thing I'd like to mention at this point is how easily we can be fooled by two-dimensional imagery. We've been trained and conditioned to suspend disbelief when we see certain two-dimensional imagery, such as photographs. You know, a photograph is not reality. It's a photograph. And photographs can be altered and manipulated. Video is not reality. And here's some examples of that. The point is, you can't automatically trust any two-dimensional imagery or media that's presented to you by the establishment. 1,500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat. It's a commonly held misconception that the Earth is a spherical object that revolves around the Sun. But the fact is, of course, that the Earth is a circular dish surrounded by a barrier of ice that explorers have been attempting to penetrate for centuries. What if the Earth is, in fact, flat and science has been wrong all along? Everything that you've been taught is a lie. We're shown that and told that's the solar system, that's the way it works. You've got the big sun in the middle and all the planets revolve around it, but nobody's ever seen that. We've never seen a photograph of it. <clears throat> We've never seen... Uh, you know, real part, we've certainly never seen any, any animation of it, even though there's supposed to be a probe out in Pluto at the moment. Um, nobody's ever seen the solar system like this. It's always graphics, it's always secondary knowledge. You know, the ground looks to us like it's standing still. Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Uh, no. No? What did you, you see while we were up there? Uh, just the blue sky, white clouds. Yeah, is it flat or? Pretty flat. Pretty flat? Yeah. All right, thank you. I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. That's true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. All right. All right. God bless, brother. Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Curvature? No. No? There's no, no curvature? It's just 